that down. Let's move on to this. You know, they dropped the first trailer uh, back at D23, our first real look at the upcoming new Star Wars series, Skeleton Crew. Now, I got excited about Skeleton Crew, at least modestly excited about it, when I found out that John Watts was doing it. Mm -hmm. John Watts, for those of you who may not know, because he's not a household name yet, he's just the guy who directed Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and Spider-Man No Way Home. He directed those three monstrously huge hits. And they were really good, by the way. And his writing partner on that, I think, came along with him as well. And they're making Star Wars Skeleton Crew. So right away, I'm like, okay, you got a great storyteller. I'm on board. And then they showed us the first look at it. And I kind of adored it because it was like, this feels like such an emblem entertainment mid eighties kind of throwback adventure film. I'm like, yeah, this feels, it makes my heart smile. Well, they just dropped this morning a full trailer for skeleton crew. And it is fantastic. Oh my God. It's so good. Cause you know, we said before the things that really charmed us about the first look was that it felt like Goonies. It felt like ET. It felt like Amblin entertainment. This just solidified it. It's glorious. I've heard some comparisons saying if you want a generation jump, it's ET and Goonies and stranger things mm. oh yeah. kind of like all yeah. mixed into it with the tone of the mid 80s kind of stuff you know one of the things i was telling jonathan chris that i loved about this trailer mm -hmm. when you first hear the music for uh, i thought yeah. eh, using a real world song instead of orchestral music for a star wars thing that's a little bit weird but then when i heard them use a star wars alien language to sing i'm like yeah yeah this is perfect. Well, if they say so Earth good. below us, then everyone's going to be like, then Earth is in Earth the Star Wars universe. universe. Even that, <laughs> even that aside, just having an actual <laughs> real world song. Sure. Yeah. No, that was the first I've ever heard that. But understanding the feel of this movie, just replacing the dialogue, the, the lyrics with Star Wars alien language lyric. I'm like, this is so good. And I watched the trailer over and over like three times now. I would be remiss if I didn't point out that I also really like the trailers for Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. And I did not end up really enjoying that show. I would also be remiss if I didn't point out that I, I quite liked, not as much, but I quite liked the trailers for Ahsoka. <laughs> that didn't turn out so well either. And I quite liked the trailers for The Acolyte. <sighs> And we all know how that turned out. So great trailer clearly does not automatically equal great series. The big difference, John Watts is doing this. That's what I was gonna say. John Watts is doing mm -hmm. this. I have complete belief and complete faith in John Watts. And the feel of this is so Spielbergian. It's just, I, I'm literally salivating now to watch this series. <laughs> I cannot, It just again, it just made my heart smile. Watching this thing just made my heart smile. If the series turns out to be half as good as the trailers, I'm going to be very happy. Anyway, Chris, we have not had a chance to talk about this no. yet. You saw the trailer. How did you feel about it? I love it. I love it. Goonies in space. I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> um, I loved the song choice and adding in that Star Wars language. I think it's so great. I love having an alien in the main core crew yeah i have missed this in star wars star wars in a, is in a galaxy far far away and is almost so always about humans or humanoids mm -hmm. that sometimes it does make it go oh yeah this is in space or oh yeah this is in a galaxy where there's a whole bunch of diverse life forms so having neil in here having a baby max rebo to your point there ray that we were talking about before we started <laughs> an ortolan up in the mix here that makes me so so happy um hopefully they don't play jizz music because i don't want them to have to explain jizz music to these children <laughs> you know what i love about the the this whole premise is that when kids are given the rain to go anywhere or do anything, they run into a lot of new stuff, mm -hmm. right? So we yeah. get to meet a, a bunch of new characters, a bunch of new places. I hope they really go all out on the adventure part of this because that's that's the best part of these like little group mm -hmm. of kids movies 
I, I think it's just the trouble they could get into, the things they could learn, and you know the the, and they could unite together. Yeah. Um, a Jude Law, I thought was the villain at first. No, he's reluctant space daddy. Yeah, but he looks. He, or 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 is he reveal? No, nah, he's villain. reluctant space. He's daddy. reluctant space daddy. Don't take that away from me. Don't take that away from me. Even if they reveal that, I'm like, no, no, no. No, that's reluctant space daddy. Favorite genre of all time. <laughs> and and the shots look great. Especially the ones in space where they're flying in the ship, or if that's them. In oh the ship. Yeah, yeah, visually look great. I mean, it's an upgrade from a acolyte for sure. Well, aesthetically, it looks like they're leaning towards Andor with a lot of uh, on location Absolutely. shots, yeah. exactly. and that's not going to be a qualifier for quality, but it is an aesthetic that I appreciate. Well, and it just it again, it makes you feel more like you're in this intergalactic bigger sure, world than sure. when you're just on than just like on a stage. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Re- uh, the animation side of Star Wars has always done that, right? Mm-hmm. Like even in Rebels and things like that. Yeah. But live action, obviously, it's a little more complicated and complex. It's a lot easier. But that, what is the little kid's name? The little Re- Max Rebo kid? Oh, Neil. Neil. Just when he goes, N-E-E-L. take the control. When he says, take the controls. And he says, okay. And then the other kid, Neil? Me? I'm like, I am so fucking charmed right oh, now. Oh, I would die for Neil. <laughs> I have already... <laughs> right now, I already tell, I would die for Neil. Anything happens. It's it's before he got the baby wrinkles. Ortolan proving to us that Ortolans have legs. Thank you very much. <laughs> Everything oh, I, I do, I do it, it for, for Neil. Neil. I'm telling you, if that if that character is not going to sell in stores, it's... Uh, Oh yeah! Look yeah, into my trunk. <laughs> one of one of our uh, one of our live viewers, Chubbs GPT, wrote, "I'm going to switch my LinkedIn occupation to reluctant space daddy." <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yep, that works, guys. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video. The Perfect Jean. Look, you guys know I've been talking about the Perfect Jean for a while now. I absolutely love these. They fit like a dream, they look fantastic, and they are so comfortable, you forget you're even wearing pants. We all love jeans, but look, we all also know they can be a little bit uncomfortable for the boys, but not with the Perfect Jean. These jeans fit like they were custom made, stretch like you wouldn't believe, and they look absolutely fantastic. The Perfect Jean also has a seriously massive range of sizes, everything from 26 to 50 and lengths of 26 to 38. These have become my absolute go-to jeans whenever I'm hanging around the house or even going out for the day. And listen, the Perfect Jean isn't even just pants. They've revolutionized t-shirts as well. The Perfect Tee has just enough stretch to hide that beer belly while accentuating your arms and chest for that flawless look. My guys, it's finally time to stop crushing your balls in uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectjean.nyc. Our listeners get 15% off your first order, plus free shipping, free returns, and free exchanges when you use the code CAMP at checkout. That's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.nyc with the promo code Campia. And after you purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them. Please support the John Campus Show and tell them we sent you. F your khakis and get the perfect gene. I again I I adored this trailer. I, I thought it was great. I obviously there is going to be a reveal for the Jude Laud character. Like, is he a Jedi? Was he some people thought. I mean, there was early speculation after D23 that he was um, Palpatine. That he's, but the, but they were quickly reminded the timelines don't yeah. shed. But then, then that theory evolved to he's clone Palpatine. And uh, like, uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't Let think so. Let him die. Yeah, it, to get what he wants. Somehow, the Emperor yeah. has returned again. 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 Um, <laughs> Guys, I think this trailer is bonkers good. I, I this is, yeah, coming off and listen, just give me this because coming off the acolyte, I need something in Star Wars to excite me. Yeah. So like, give me this. I think it looks great. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below, and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.